Hey everybody! Welcome to another Learning Sunday where every Sunday we learn something together. Today I'm gonna teach you guys how to do laundry because I feel everyone should know how to do their own laundry. I don't know. I heard a lot of stories of people going off to college and they don't know how to do their own laundry and then they just smell. So it's extremely simple. I learned it when I was like 10, 11. If a child can do it, you can do it. It's super simple and so let's get into it, shall we? We're gonna wash my clothes together. Here's my laundry. I took out all the underwear and bras because I knew someone out there would try and screenshot all of them so you don't have to worry about it anymore. Let's dump it out and learn how to wash it. Fantastic. Have you ever noticed that there are tags on your clothes? Those tags usually tell you how to wash the article of clothing. But if you're like me, you cut the tags off. But before you do, you should at least glance at it to make sure there's not some crazy warning on it like don't wash it ever or don't dry clean it ever. But anyway, you basically glance at it, see if it says you should wash it in warm, cold, line dry, tumble dry, don't iron, do iron. They all give instructions on how to wash. I like this Hanes shirt. Don't use fabric softener. Okay, cool. And it says I can wash it in warm water and dry it and iron it. So it's letting me know this can be washed in a normal manner. So basically what you do is you separate them. Now, there are multiple different ways you can separate clothing. You can go light colors and dark colors. You can go cold water, warm water. I like to separate cold water, warm water, and then if the pile is big enough, separate my lights from my darks. So let's separate. Water. This one is dark cold, dark colors, cold water, and this is warm dark. Also, I don't care. <laughs> like white socks, I don't care if these change color at all, so it doesn't matter. You know, like a lot of comedy shows goof about, oh no, you put a red sock in the wash with all my white shirts, now everything's pink. Yeah, that's actually happened to me before. So it wasn't my red sock. Someone put it in my whites and everything turned pink. Dark colors sometimes bleed and that will change the colors of your lights. That's why you separate them. So cold water, you're less likely to shrink your clothes in cold water. Hot water will shrink them a little bit, but it kills more bacteria. So that's why I usually do all my socks, my jeans, my sweatpants in warm, because I don't care if they shrink a little bit. Also, they're probably the ones that need the most bacteria killed. Okay, so you've separated them. Make sure as you're separating that you check the pockets of everything to make sure there's no paper, money, pens. In the last place I lived, someone always left a pen in the dryer, like a writing utensil. I have sheets that have blue pen mark all over them because I dried them in that dryer and the pen was still in there and destroyed my sheets. I still use them though. So you check all your pockets, make sure there's nothing in there. Gum. Oh! I had a piece of plastic. So we've read the tags. We've sorted them into piles. We've checked the pockets. Now it's time to wash them. Now, every washer is different. Every dryer is different. Well, not like every, they're not all snowflakes. It's, they make multiple of the same washer and dryer, but it's rare that you will come encounter with the exact same washing machine your entire life. And they'll all seem scary. Every new washer seems scary because you don't know how to work it, but it's very simple. There's usually a knob for the temperature, what temperature you want it at, and how intense you want it to wash it. There's normal, which people usually use for towels, and there's delicates. People usually use that for their lights and their panties and things like that. Basically, it's like, do you want me to wring this to death and pound it and get every ounce of dirt out, or do you just want it clean? All right, let's go wash this. Welcome to my washer. Okay, so what I didn't mention just now, but I should, if you have any heavy stains on your shirt that you need to pre-treat before you put it in the washer, now's the time to do it. Spray some shout on it, do your grandma's secret recipe on your shirt, whatever you need to do to get out the stain, do that now. Okay, now it's time to load it up. Ding, 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 ding. Push it all in. It's in. Close the door! Now it depends on what kind of washer you're using. Some washers, you have to put the detergent in before, some you have to put it in after. It depends on your washer. But mine, you put the clothes in and then you put the detergent in this little drawer. So detergents usually come with a little cup to let you know how much you're supposed to put in and then that's how much you do it. So how big your load is depends on how much detergent you put in. Makes sense, right? Okay, so I put the detergent in the little slot, normal. I'm not putting any fabric softener in because I don't need it. But I'm gonna do power, and then these are my delicate clothes, and I'm putting it on cold water. I want the spin medium cycle, and then I hold start. 
and they shall be washed. And then in 37 minutes, I will dry them. So I will see you, okay, that's loud. I'll <laughs> see you in 37 minutes. All right, so the washer went off and now you open up the washer. You can't see it, but that's very self-explanatory. And you take everything out of the washer and put it into the dryer. Okay, now before you start the dryer, you have to check the lint trap. It's different in, oh wow, that is full. This stuff comes off of your clothes and it gets caught in this, which is what it's supposed to do. It's a lint catcher. It's different in every dryer, but make sure that's cleaned out before you start the dryer so it doesn't ruin everything. I like to put a little dryer sheet, a little bounce sheet, if you will, in the dryer so that there's less static and it smells nice and it makes things feel softer. Close that baby up, then you turn your dryer on and figure out how hot you want it. I personally would like it delicate so it's on a low heat temperature so that it does not shrink my clothing. Start! And that will be going for about 30 minutes, so I'll see you guys in 30 minutes! Okay, so the dryer's done, it went off, open it, and then you check to see if things are actually dry, because dryers like to lie to you and say things are dry when they're not. It's dry. And then you just put it all back in your basket. Mm. No, no. I'm missing the basket, I keep missing! I make it seem more difficult than it actually is. All right, and then always check to make sure nothing got left behind. Oop, all clear. And then uh, you take it to another location and fold it. But close that or else the light will eventually burn out inside of it and your mom will get mad at you. That's happened to me. Now you just fold them and put them away. I hope you guys know how to fold clothes. That could be a whole other video. Mainly I just needed to do my laundry and make a video. So I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone. Don't kill birds, that's weird. If you leave your clothes in the dryer too long and you don't fold them immediately, they will wrinkle. Also, if you're really super concerned about wrinkles, when you take them out of the washer, shake them off a few times and then put them in the dryer. That will also lessen the wrinkles on your clothing. If you're super concerned about shrinking things and you don't wanna use the dryer, you can also hang dry your clothes. A lot of people do this with dress shirts, bathing suits, bras. Like, see, I should have hang dried this shirt because it shrunk. Some materials just shrink. You can't really change anything about that. So if you're scared of that, wash them in cold and line dry them. Line drying takes a little longer just because you're just hanging a wet thing up and you have to wait till it dries. But it saves on electricity and you won't shrink your clothes. You just have to find the space for it. So that's it for this video. I hope I helped you guys. If I haven't, I'm sorry. If I have, you're welcome. If you wanna learn more things, remember to subscribe because every Sunday I go over some life lessons. We learn together. But if you just wanna see comedy videos, subscribe because every Tuesday and Thursday I post comedy videos. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember guys, above all else, stay awesome, possums.